Hello everybody. So today we are planting this yard ornament. I got this at a farm auction last November, I do believe it was. The old wheelbarrow and the wheel. And I decided to put them together in my yard and this is not the finished situation. I'm planning on doing some in-ground planting, not just leaving it sitting on the grass, but for now this is where it is and what it's going to be. So I decided that I couldn't wait any longer to plant some annuals this spring. We might not be done completely with the cold snaps, but I'll just have to watch and get them covered up if that's true. But I need, I need that bright pop of color in my yard. I need that happiness in my life every single day when I come out here. So we are gonna go ahead and do it. So what I've got is I've got a little box of annuals and they've already got bees buzzing on them. That's so exciting. Um, got a little a box of annuals that I got at Baumgars yesterday and some potting mix, miracle Grow potting mix. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the dirt in here and we'll go from there. Okay, so I filled it up with quite a bit of dirt because it is a lot deeper on this end than it is on this end, but I wanna make sure that in the summer I don't have to add any more dirt to it. I want there to be enough dirt that it'll retain a lot of moisture because this wheelbarrow does not need holes drilled in the bottom of it. It does leak already. So a lot of water, it won't have sitting water in it. It will, it'll leak out the bottom. So I wanna make sure there's enough dirt to retain the, retain the moisture. And I did get moisture control potting mix. And it says it's supposed to protect against over and under watering, which somebody wants to explain that one to me. But sounds good. So that's all set. I just love new potting mix. Feels so good. Okay, so I got several different kinds of flowers. And I might not have got enough to fill this up. But we will see what we got here. I got geraniums because who doesn't love geraniums? And I've never bought white geraniums before. So that is really, they're beautiful, really exciting. I got four of those and I was thinking that they would be my center, my centerpiece. And they like full sun to a little bit of shade. This space is going to get a lot of sun. There isn't anything protecting it from overhead sun or um, southern sun because we're not quite to summer sun yet or it'll be directly overhead but we do have a lot of heat in the afternoon so they should be getting enough sun hope I tried to pick plants that we're gonna handle the sun really well because this doesn't get any shade so then I also got dwarf asters which I have never planted before but I was shopping with my mom and she says that she loves these so I got a couple of packages of dwarf asters just a couple little four packs and we'll put them in here somewhere. They're bright and colorful. And then I got zinnias because I love zinnias. They're so cheery. They're so happy looking. So I got four packs of those. And I'll probably end up putting them towards the front where I'll see them more often. sun to shade so they seem to be very versatile and it says that they like window boxes and they're supposed to vine so I was actually hoping that if I planted them over here on the corners I got four of these that I might be able to train them to kind of go off onto the wagon wheel and then maybe down the wheelbarrow handles so I'm gonna put one by this handle and three over here where the wheelbarrow where the um, wheelbarrow and the wheel touch. So I'm getting everything organized here. I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to put everything. Something about like that. And then I did get a couple of mums reason being is that around here it's very difficult to find little mums a month from now so 
I, I like to plant mums early so that they get big by fall and in this zone if they are established and have a good root system and you mulch them they are almost perennials so they might come back next spring if I get them in the ground soon enough. Now they're probably not going to be perennials in a planter but I couldn't resist because you just can't buy them a month from now. So and they're so beautiful so I know that I am mixing a fall plant with some spring and some summer plants but it's early enough in the year I'm just excited to have color. So I'm gonna put them towards this back side and that does leave some space which is exciting because that means that I get to buy more plants for this in a couple of weeks. So this is just the first planting. Instead of taking plants out and replacing them with summer plants, I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to start with these colors and then if I'm loving these and they are doing well in this container because I've never planted in this before, I will get some more of these things in a couple of weeks and really fill this. But we're just going to start here. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these. So this is what we came up with. This is what it ended up looking like. There are not enough plants in this real barrel. I didn't know how many it was going to take, so I only bought one flat of plants, which I think I'm gonna to have to buy an entire another flat to fill this up, which is exciting because I love buying flowers and planting them and just having them around. So a few more is just fantastic. But this is where we're gonna end the video for today. I'll give you a close up and show you where everything ended up, I wanted to do whites in the middles, in the middles, in the middle, and the trailing where it might trail if I train it, and then the pops of color around the edge. So um, I'll get some more of the same kind of plants, kind of mass plant them, and there'll be another video. So look forward to that one. Mm -hmm.